Hey y'all, it's Krypton Critics, and I'm here to review Civil War 2, Issue 1. We open with all new Avengers fending off the Earth from Celestials. Eventually, the Inhumans, Beasts, and various other characters come to remove the Celestials. The heroes celebrate the victory once they win. Everything in the beginning seems lighthearted. This includes a illustrated joke of Squirrel World betting money in the Jane Foster, Thor, and She-Hulk arm wrestle, which I laughed at, but the Iron Man making fun of War Machine's penis size while high-fiving beasts, that just disappointed me. During the party, Medusa introduces Ulysses, a human who predicts futures like a minority report, who informed the Inhumans about the celestial attack before it took place. The writer Brian Michael Bendis drags young Jean Grey to try to read Ulysses' mind because Bendis feels that he must crowbar a character in the younger form that he wrote about last year. Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, and Tony Stark, Iron Man, fight with words concerning if they should use Ulysses to their advantage. Carol Danvers says that they should use him to save lives, but Tony Stark argues that using him will just lead to them punishing people before they actually perform crimes or acts of terror. Danvers uses Ulysses to find out how to fight Thanos. This goes south, and the heroes lose War Machine. We had to kill off the black guy, didn't we? Tony becomes very upset, and he begins to blame Carol for War Machine's death. And after the, he does this, She-Hulk dies while in the hospital bed. One that was with Captain Marvel and fought Thanos, you know, comes out sad, who was severely injured in some way. Wow, this story went from 0 to 100 real quick. Even with some of the more cheesy lines and few mischaracterizations of a few faces, I like this first issue. The end is poetic and it tongues of the heartstrings, it sets up a good conflict, and it's a good number one for a Marvel event. Go read it, homies. Go read it.